Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue talking about the child process module in Node.js. In this video, we will focus on the exec file function. Uh, this function, just like exec and spawn, will allow us to create uh, child processes, but in a slightly different way. Uh, as you can see, that uh, the arguments uh, this function is going to, to take is slightly different from all the other ones and in fact that is the point uh, uh, for creating this different uh, functions is to give you different ways of starting this uh, new child process you seek to you seek to start uh, so the exec file function will expect an executable file a path uh, to an executable file and uh, this is the only required argument uh, this is optional uh, arguments that you can provide to this program to this executable file uh, optional options and uh, callback function that you can uh, that you know once uh, the creation of this child uh, or the execution of this child is complete that will be called with uh, with uh, errors and uh, the two uh, uh, stream buffers not really stream buffers the two buffers that contain uh, whatever was printed to uh, the stream std out and std error uh, for that child process all right so uh, first thing i want to be clear of is that the programs that we were using before the uh, the list which was ls the copy which was cp the rm which was uh, 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 the remove which was rm and these programs are also binary files they are executable files which is why you can call them and have them execute so you could use these uh, with the exec file as well they're not just uh, you know we call them commands but they are actually programs that live on your computer and you can use them with that as well so first let's establish that let's just use the ls uh, the list program to, with uh, the exec file function all right so let's uh, create a child here okay we want to use the exec file function Okay, and the file we want to provide is this. All right, now let's provide some arguments for that. A couple of arguments we can provide. A, there are other flags, but those are the one I'm most familiar with, so I'll use that. Okay, so, uh, and I can provide some options. Okay, let's provide a different directory than the current one. CWD. Let's make it the previous directory in the hierarchy. And we can provide a callback. And this callback will receive an error object that will be null if there are no errors. But if there are, you know, it will be, it will have an error in it. And uh, it will also give you two buffers, one for the std out stream and one for the std error stream. All right, so let's start this and see what we get. So if there is an error, right, we could uh, throw that error. Okay, but if there isn't, what we could do here is just uh, print what's uh, what the you know what's coming out of the std out uh, stream of that child process. So let's just log this right there. And by default, the encoding for these buffers is UTF-8, so uh, it should be okay for us here. So let's go ahead and run this program. All right, so look at what we're getting. 
we're getting the files, uh, we're getting them in the long form, and we're also getting the hidden folders, uh, which is what we expected when we do that. And the long form is when we, uh, you know, we get the, the permission profile, we get the user, the group, uh, the size of the file, and when it was created, I believe. All right, so we can use these these commands or programs or executable files uh, with that as well. Now the main thing I want to do in this uh, video is compile and run a C++ program. All right, so I was uh, practicing. I have that uh, sitting in here, so let me remove that. All right, so I have a C++ program here that's very simple. All it does is it prints hello uh, with the name provided uh, to the console. All right, so you can see in the main here, it takes uh, it takes an argument. Yeah, it takes an argument if you know if the count for for the um, um, terminal variables uh, if the count is one it takes uh, that one and then just uh, say hello with it and if not it says hello with world so it, what the expectation is uh, what will be printed is either hello world or hello with the name provided all right so let's go ahead and try and compile this program all right, so that's what we're trying to do. Like, let's write down uh, the command you'd have to write to compile a C++ program of that sort. Um, so what you'd have to write is G++. Uh, you provide a C++ 11 flag. So this is STD equals C++ 11. Uh, provide the out file. And then provide the out file here. That's hello. That out. And what you're compiling is hello. That cpp. All right. So this is what the command the command is uh, supposed to look like uh, to compile that C++ program. All right. So let's go ahead and create a child here to compile. So let's just uh, call it uh, child. That's going to be cp that exact file. Okay. What we want to get here is the G++. That's going to be the executable we want to get to. So let's call compiler. Now we can provide some arguments. These arguments are the version of C++ we are targeting. This is this right here, C++ 11. Uh, we want to uh, provide the out flag, which is out. Okay, and which file is, is gonna be out? That's the out file. And then which file is going to be the in file? It's the hello.cpp. All right, so this is our command, right? Okay, so G++, uh, C++11, out, hello.out, and here we got hello.cpp. Now let's write our uh, callback function. Remember this is going to take an error object which will be null if there are no errors. Uh, we get the two buffers uh, come for for the values that are in uh, std out and std error of that child. Alright so let's just capture those and let's open up. Alright now in that callback Okay, if there is an error, we can throw that error. Okay, and if there is no error, uh, what we can do at this point 
that would mean that our C++ program is done compiling okay that would mean now we can start a child to call this function let's go ahead and do that to call this uh, executable file let's just call this runner okay CP what do we want to run all right let's build a string here bar let's call it executable do some interpolation okay so when you're calling uh, functions that are in the current directory I mean programs that are in the current directory you put the dot slash in front of it and the string we want is the out file okay so that's what we want to call in our child process so let's just call that executable uh, do we want to provide some arguments well first let's not provide any argument because we're gonna get world at first all right so now let's just uh, write our uh, callback function again it's gonna provide uh, an error and two buffers one buffer for out and one buffer for error okay all right and again if there's an error let's just throw it And if there is no error, I just want to print what's coming out. Okay, well, this should be, uh, so let's recap. So here, what we are doing, we are compiling our C++ program. If there's an error, we throw that error. But if there is no error, that means uh, our compilation is over because we're doing this in the callback. Uh, we're getting uh, the name of the executable. So what, we, what we're going to get here is that slash and uh, hello that out. So that is, that's essentially the, the, the path for that executable program. Uh, here we're going to have uh, create, uh, we're going to create a child, uh, we'll call it runner. And uh, uh, we're going to start it with that executable file we just compiled. And we're not providing any arguments, we're not providing any options. Uh, we're simply getting a callback, and then in that callback, we're going to print whatever we get uh, from that uh, child in its, uh, uh, in its uh, STD out stream. All right, so let's run this and see what we get. Uh, we got an error. What's that error? Oh, yep, I see why. I did not call the function, so this is going to be cp exec file all right so let's go again all right so we get the uh, hello world now if we pass in arguments let's provide a name here let's, my name is Dooley all right so let's run this so what we expect to get here is Hello, Dooley. There we go. All right, so this is how you can use uh, exec file to simply create uh, new child processes and simply call executables left and right, as long as you provide the right path. And, and for example, here, let's say I did not provide the right path. Okay, let's do that here. So let's just add something here. Let's see what happens. It's going to blow up. 
Okay, it's gonna tell us. Okay, inside this here, it doesn't know what this is. Okay, so hello that out boo is not something it can find, so that's why uh, uh, it blows up. Alright, so let's run this again and clean this up here. Hello Julie, here we go. Alright, so this is the video guys, uh, that's how you use uh, exec file, uh, the exec file function. It's uh, essentially very similar to the other functions, except you, you know, you can provide uh, different kinds of arguments and uh, especially a callback here that you can, you can, you know, you can have done stuff for you once, uh, once that child process uh, ends. All right, uh, again, this is Dooley. Uh, I got more videos coming uh, on the child process module in Node.js. Uh, please uh, uh, subscribe uh, to the channel if you want to see more of these videos. Um, uh, hit the like button if you like the videos, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.